To my beloved brethren and God's holy people across the globe, welcome to another program in the series, A Word to the Nation broadcast. I am Pastor Carol Wilson, your humble servant, and I encourage you to spare a few minutes out of your busy schedule and allow the Lord to speak to your hearts. Good morning to all God's children. I greet you all in the exalted name of Jesus Christ. He who was given as a ransom for our sins and payment for our transgressions. We are alive this morning all because of his loving kindness and mercies that he has bestowed upon us. And so we take time out to acknowledge him and his divine favor upon us, his children. I wish to encourage your hearts this morning on the topic, Steps Ordered by the Lord. And our scripture reading comes from a passage in Psalm 37, 23 to 26. It says, A person's steps are established by the Lord, and he takes pleasure in his ways. Though he falls, he will not be overwhelmed because the Lord supports him with his hand. I have been young and now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous abandoned or his children begging for bread. He is always generous, always lending, and his children are a blessing. We will indeed look at this passage to discover how God guides our lives, especially those lives that are committed to Him and to see their outcome. Verse 23 says, A person's steps are established by the Lord. A step infers progress or course of life. Steps also imply small incremental movements at a time. Sometimes we become filled with anxiety about life, wanting to progress at a rapid speed. Things we desire, we want them to appear instantaneously. The Lord wants us to be calm and confident, knowing whatever we ask of Him, He will grant it unto us in His good time. We need to learn to wait on the Lord. When the Lord says He will establish our steps, this suggests that we are advancing in Christ, that we are moving ahead, making forward progress. This is encouraging news because the prophet Jeremiah says in Jeremiah 10.23, I know, Lord, that a person's way of life is not his own. No one who walks determines his own steps. There is a divinity that shapes our lives. We usually operate for the most part based on the information from our physical senses which influences our thoughts, feelings and emotions. And many times despite our best judgment we fall into error. Jeremiah says clearly we do not have any such ability within us. Jeremiah says I know Lord. We need to come to the realization like Jeremiah knowing beyond the shadow of a doubt that we do not possess the ability to direct our own steps. Our steps, our lives, our progress ought to be established by the Lord. Once you allow the Lord to establish your steps, Jeremiah says, the Lord takes pleasure in your ways. Many translations use, uses the term the Lord delights in your ways. And the word delight means to affect with great pleasure, to please highly. This is how the Lord feels about those of us 
whose steps are established by him. When our steps are established by the Lord, it does not mean that our lives will be necessarily free from catastrophes and failures. The prophet says in verse 24, Though he falls, he will not be overwhelmed because the Lord supports him with his hand. This is indeed enlightening and encouraging. Yes, a part of our journey with the Lord could involve some misfortunes and failures, but there is no need to cast away our confidence. He directs our steps. By His Holy Spirit, He directs the thoughts, affections, and designs of good people. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. The role of the Holy Spirit is to lead. Romans 8 verse 14 says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. If you want the Lord to order your steps, you must be led and filled by the Holy Spirit. The psalmist says, Though you fall, the Lord will not abandon you. He will not allow you to be overwhelmed by your circumstances. He will be there with you and even more than that, He will support you with His hand. So you will not only imagine His presence, but you will experience His supernatural help and assistance. The enemy wants you to believe that when we fall, we are abandoned by the Lord, but nothing is further from the truth. The Lord declares that though you fall, you will not be overwhelmed. I like the message of the prophet Isaiah who spoke in a similar way, reassuring us that the Lord will not abandon us in difficult times. I read from Isaiah 43, 1 to 4. It says, Now this is what the Lord says, The one who created you, Jacob, and the one who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and the rivers will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched, and the flame will not burn you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I have given Egypt as a ransom for you, Cush and Seba in your place, because you are precious in my sight and honored, and I love you. I will give people in exchange for you and nations instead of your life. This passage speaks vividly of God's care and love for his people. He says you ought not to fear because he has purchased your freedom. He has called you by name and you are no longer on your own. You belong to him. The psalmist says, he will not abandon you when you are in trouble. Now the prophet Isaiah is saying, when you pass through the waters, he will be right there with you. He will not allow the river to wash you away. When you go through the fire, you will not be burned or even scorched. The Lord says he values you enough to give people in exchange for you. He declares that you are precious in His sight and you are honored and that He loves you. Whatever situation you find yourself in, you must never forget that your steps are ordered by the Lord. David says, From youth until he became a man advanced in age, in all his experiences, he has never seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread. This is a testimony that the Lord orders the steps of his children. They shall never be in lack 
or wants. A poem, Order My Steps, by Deborah Ann. Today I'm stepping out, letting my faith take me to wherever God wants or plans for me to be. My step he will order upon a firm foundation, so I will need to be ready to fall into formation. If I should stumble, I know I will not fall, for God will uphold me when on his name I call. Onward I will travel on the path God determines, for I know he has for me some faith-building excursions. If I should lose my way, I know I will not get lost, for God will encourage me to keep my eyes on the cross. Today I'm stepping out, trusting the way God will direct, for I know my steps of faith he is already planned and preset. Amen.
Thank you for joining us today for a Word to the Nation broadcast, B127. This is your brother and friend, Carol Wilson, saying, Have a happy Sabbath, a fantastic day, and may the God of heaven bless you real good. Peace and love to you all.